How's it going everybody? Frank here for the Bakersfield Journal with my brother Miguel. We're here at Cigars and More in Bakersfield, California. Today we'll be taking a look at a new cigar that just came into the shop not too long ago. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of this brand before. Uh, it's called Alec Bradley. Bradley? Bradley? Is that it? That's correct. So. Alright, it's uh, The Lost Art by Alec Bradley. It's been a really highly anticipated cigar to come out of the Alec Bradley camp. Uh, I know quite a few people here at the shop were looking forward to it. One might be sitting off to my left here right off camera, the Mitch. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take a look at the cigar today and my notes just disappeared because I was talking too long. It comes in at, uh, this is the Grand Toro size. It comes in five sizes. Churchill, Torpedo, Robusto, the Grand Toro, the Double T, and I think I said them all. Yes. Uh, this is at six and a quarter by 52 ring gauge and it has a Honduran Corojo wrapper with Honduran and Nicaraguan filler and binder. It's a box pressed, uh, super dark brown on this one. But it's nice and oily. I mean, this thing is just awesome filling. Looks pretty good too. The band is that uh, really nice detailed band on it right there, guys. You can see it has the uh, Alec Bradley logo with the crown red in the middle, the gold, and uh, what is that, teal? Ah, uh, yeah, that's in the tealish blue color, yeah. Either way, it's really nice detail. Um, looks good. Very much so, yes. So we'll go ahead and get these cut up, guys, and we'll get them lit, and we'll get back to you in just a minute. All right, guys, we're a little over half an hour in, uh, getting done to the second third. And I gotta say, for flavors, I got a really nice spice at the beginning of this, um, with a little bit of wood, but that all died away very quickly. Um, it turned into a little bit of a, a coffee note that I was getting. Uh, we were read the description and it said espresso. I don't know if it was that bitter and intense of a coffee flavor for me personally. Uh, but it's definitely a coffee flavor. I'm still getting that lingering uh, spice, that black pepper, maybe almost like a cayenne pepper. Um, heat on the finish. It stays on the back of the throat for a while. And yeah, other than that guys, not much as far as flavors going on right here right now. Maybe it will transition to the second, third, we'll see. Uh, Mike, how's your construction going? Construction is fine. I had a little retouch earlier, only because I was smoking pretty slowly. Um, I think it was it was operated error, not the cigar. S construction's fine. Um, wrapper, completely fine. Frank, I think you had a little problem, but it hasn't been an actual issue, yes? Yeah, yeah, my, um, my wrapper leaf actually came up a little bit uh, more towards the foot, and it had like a little pocket there where you can actually see the binder, but it held on just fine, burned all the way through. I didn't have to retouch it, so it was just a little hiccup, but it self-corrected itself very well and was not an issue. Yeah, mix that with a pretty decent smoke output. Um, ash falling off in solid chunks. I think you have really great construction so far. Great, all right guys, we'll get into the second third, see if we get any transitions, and we'll be back with you in just a minute. Alright guys, so we're coming up to about an hour and seven minutes now, and I, there was a bit of a flavor transition from first to second, third. That espresso and cayenne pepper taste have all but gone away, and it's moved over to a nice aged tobacco and cedar wood flavor. Uh, not as big of a transition as I was thinking, you know, it didn't become as more complex. It just kind of, this was the flavor you're getting, now these are the flavors you're getting. Um, so, it's, it's transitioning, so if you are a person that likes transitions, uh, this is definitely one you can go for to kind of notice them right away if you're new to cigars and You're trying to say well. I don't understand how transitions work. You know, what do you mean flavors change? This would be a good one to do because the flavors are so uh, Predominant I don't want to say one note because it sounds kind of negative But it is that one flavor you're getting at the beginning and then you will see a change into the second third Okay, it may not be as complex as some of the you know the other cigars that we've had to where it's really floral at the beginning and then it'll turn into uh, woody nuttiness kind of a thing you know it's just kind of one flavor then the next flavor it's one leads into the next and yeah exactly. that, that makes sense it would be good exactly. for someone trying to get those those transitions down that makes sense yeah the finish is short now uh, the first third of the finish was nice and long that cayenne stuck around in the back of your throat but for the second third the finish is short um, it, it, it pretty much is gone after a few seconds so not as long as a finish anymore 
but the strength is building. It went from a mild at the beginning for me to definitely a medium now, and I think it will build up more towards the end to a full, but we'll see about that. Mike, how's your construction? I would definitely agree on that strength change, by the way. Uh, construction is fine, as you can see, the ash fell off on one solid chunk. Good, almost razor sharp burn. Smoke output's still great. Uh, no relights for either of us, right? Nope. Yeah, so everything as far as construction goes is perfect. Even my, my wrapper, which usually gets a little squishier down towards the end, is still perfectly fine. Still keeping its um, density, because it was a, a more dense pack, I think, when yes. we started. And it's still not too squishy to that point where if you start pinching on it a little bit and rolling it, it's not going to break. So, you know, I think, uh, I think construction on this one, um, throughout the entire thing, I'm going to go ahead and say right now, I think it's pretty great. Yeah, definitely would agree with that. I do have a little bit of crack. Uh, over here by the shoulder of mine, but it hasn't made any kind of irregularities in the burn or anything like that. So we're still good, guys. We'll go ahead and finish this out and get you a conclusion in just a minute. All right, guys, we're about an hour and 45 minutes and they're getting pretty warm, so we're gonna cut them off there. As far as flavors go, there was a nice transition. That cedar wood actually, tran um, what do you call it? Changed, I guess, uh, into oak wood. So whoever the blender was for this one, I'll have to look that up a little later. It's really interesting to see the different wood tastes that you get from it. Oh, okay. It was, I mean, you'll you'll definitely see it. That transition happens almost, um, almost immediately, really, from third to third, so. It's actually pretty crazy to see. I've never really noticed that in a lot of cigars, you know, from one wood to another so dramat dramatically. Uh, but this one, definitely you got that cedar, and then uh, towards that last third, it became oak. So it's very interesting for me. Now, as far as other flavors go, just gonna get a lot of nice uh, aged tobacco uh, to mix in with that. Other than that, that was pretty much it for flavors, guys. So starts off with a nice cayenne spice and the espresso bean. Uh, into an aged tobacco cedar wood and changed again to the oak and, and um, tobacco. So, all in all, good transitional stick. Nice, yeah. And I have to say, like I predicted before, the construction was perfect. I mean, all the way down, very razor sharp. The smoke output was excellent. Um, the ash fell off in solid chunks the entire time. I think you had one issue with the um, with the, the foot still right now, or excuse me, the head, um, but didn't affect the smoke output. Not at all. Oh, so there you go. Um, yeah, it's an actually construction, excellently, excuse me, constructed cigar and some great uh, changes. It's, it's a good mix. Definitely, definitely. So if you guys are in the Bakersfield area, make sure you stop into Cigars and More and grab yourself one of the new Alec Bradley Lost Arts or any of the other fine cigars that they carry here, which are a whole lot of them. And if you have a little extra money, donate one to Cigars for Warriors. I'm sure they'd be happy to get one as well. Or if you want to go with something else, please feel free to donate anything you can. They're always happy to get cutters, lighters. Um, any cigar you'd like to donate. Remember, if you donate five cigars at one time, you will get entered into the raffle that our local event coordinator, Mitch, is having. At the end of the month, you can have a chance to win, I believe it was a five count? Yes. Uh, hard case humidor, travel humidor. So that's a pretty nice little little bonus there that you get back for uh, helping out the uh, people in the armed forces in the active duty war zones. So guys, it's a great cause. Um, if you can do anything to help out, please do. And uh, yeah, so for myself, my brother Miguel here at Cigars and More in Bakersfield, California. Please make sure you guys join us on the Bakersfield Gentleman. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, guys.